Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 39 on my Bar City Low League Management playthrough in Football Manager 2015. And we've hit some decent and recent form. What's this? The last five games, we've won four of them. Not many draws happening. That's not too bad. Uh, we're 18th now. See a win. Look at this. We're three points away from 10th position. So... Of course, we have a hard game here against Lincoln, who's third, but it is at home. Who knows? We're on the up and up. We're doing pretty well. Like, as a newly promoted team, to win four of the last five games, that's a good effort, and our morale is at a decent level. Uh, it's not like poor anymore. It's at a decent level. Uh, we're playing JPS and David Pratt. They're on superb morale. I feel it's important to play as many of them <laughs> as you can who are on superb morale. I'm even thinking bringing Noah Keats in behind. Even though Demkiv has been playing well recently. But yeah, three superb morales. The three most advanced players. Uh, we'll get them on and we'll see how we do. Uh, Dan Hart has to come defensive midfield. And actually, like, see, I don't know if I should change it or not. But I'm going to try it. Someone suggested. Uh, but again, it's not his best role to play a halfback uh, on defend. Maybe to cover yeah, for poor defensive mistakes. But the thing is... He can't play well there. Maybe Anton, yeah, Anton walks. He could play well as a halfback. So maybe in general, and if I just, for example, go to Dan Hart, and I'll, and I've got the new skin I'm using on my United save on this one too. So I'll update the description, and I'll say it yeah, in the video so I remember too. But anyway, where are we going? If we go to defensive roles, uh, no midfield roles. Sorry. And we'll go to halfback and on defend. Does he got attributes required for... He's got some decent technique. He's got passing, tackling. Okay. So he's still got some decent attributes for that role. But for me, it has to be more about the position for it. Um, the role he plays as that. Uh, we'll act as a third center back. As you know, I use that in my United save, that role. Um, but yes, it's a role I use when definitely my fullbacks are more attacking. But he is just going to... It's just going to make, hopefully, uh, cover for the errors. So there's less errors. And uh, we'll see if it works anyway. I was suggested to do that. So I'll definitely take that on board. But yes, we've got to keep in mind, like, we've got a hard game in the FA Cup. We're playing against Oldham. You've got to be realistic. They're a team that's looking to try and get promotion into the championship being fourth. So, like, realistically, we're not going to beat them. Because they've got amazing players. Just who's one of the? Just Danny Phyllis Kirk. Okay, I suppose he's not super amazing. So maybe we might have a chat. But that's just one player. They've got Christian uh, Sebelos. But on just Jack Grimmer, who's he? It's not like they're miles ahead. Just on a few players I've clicked on so far. How about Sergi Canos? He's a good player. He's on loan from Liverpool. Actually, we'll get a scout report on him. Maybe a future signing. I don't know. Uh, Timothy Dieng, see, they've got good players, but it's not like they're miles better, so there's probably a chance if it goes well for us. So either way, we'll push on here. Uh, Nick McCoody also, <laughs> he's still in. Um, he's on a non-contract, of course. We've just been putting him in the, or playing games in under 21s. So he's been in the reserve squad, but he said he wanted to play. So I've recruited him back, and I'll give him number 23. Because, yeah, we've got injuries to strikers, so we need the depth. So he brought him, and he's on the bench. So, let's try and get a win here. Again, we'll just apply advice. No, 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 that's going to get mixed with my United save. Uh, we've got the auto set. not or, Yeah, auto set. I said it in the tactics. The opposition instruction. So, I'll leave it like that. And then, yeah, Leah Lamb can do these. Okay, those are decent reactions. I'm like, listen passionately, listen keenly. Not bad reactions. So, I'll take that. A win here will be amazing. It's at home. So, you shouldn't be surprised, but they are third. They are a good team, Lincoln. So, this will be a great game to win. It will boost our confidence for the FA Cup game. And it's Adelsbury. Oh, Pratt finish. It's a pen. What a start this could be. And it's the super penalty taker, Ben Adelsbury. But I don't want to pump him up too much or he may miss. Come on, Ben. This could be an amazing start if you put this home. Ben Adelsbury to step up. And he puts it home. He has hit this sudden form. 
basically since like the last month or something, I don't know. Before then, he wasn't playing too amazing. This is FM14, Adelsbury. He's back on his true form. He is back. <laughs> Welcome back, Adelsbury. This form he is on is really, really good. Need to hold on, though. Let's see if we can get a second. Sheckleford. Get the ball in. Pratt! Fourth of the season. Oh, yes. This is the Bath City I like to see. Oh, I'm excited. Yes. See, with performance... like. I suppose you call it performance after the game. But yeah, playing like this, this gives me the feeling and winning four games out of the last five, it gives me a feeling we could have a late push for promotion this season. I don't want to get too excited though, but at least be staying up at the very least, mid-table finish. But yeah, try and reach those playoff spots. Imagine if that was the case. And it's a good time for FA Cup run, but yeah, we've got a hard game to play. That's the thing. And I wouldn't I wouldn't want it to be a bad loss and we'll drop morale because we're hitting form in the league. Adelsbury finds Pratt. JPS, finish it off! Oh, it would have been 3-0 and the game would have been as good as gone for, for our opponents. And for us, it would be good as one. Oh, but I don't think we could have done better in this first half. Two goals. Took our chance as well. Uh, won the penalty, of course, for the first. And this is against a team that's, yeah, near the top of the table. So this is a great performance. We're going to say passionately, I am very pleased. And we're probably going to drop out JPS and we'll bring in Demkiv. Then we'll just switch those positions up. But it looks a bit confusing here. So we're going to go to tactics. Can you go tactics from here? Yeah, overview. Yeah, just swap these two. Keats will come on. We'll just switch their positions with Demkiv. Because Demkiv, yeah, he's more of that advanced playmaking type. And he's, yeah, progressing well. That's what I want for him. Uh, Southampton trained, and he actually came from Bath. Like, where he's born. He was place of birth, see? Uh, he was born in Bath. So he's kind of a homegrown hero, even though he didn't start at Bath. I'm just saying. He's one of those types. So we'll make those changes. Would love to continue on. This is See, this is the exact style I want to be playing. And I know some people say change tactics after a few bad results. But this is how I want to be playing. Controlling kind of game. I'm sure the setup of the team is always going to change depending on the type of players. I have wall. The time's going. <laughs> See, <laughs> don't talk too much or the game may be finished. Noah Keats will take him off. We'll bring on Nick Makuti for a late... Yeah, just a late sub there. Um, Dan Hart. And we'll bring on Charlie Ward. He'll do all right in that role, I feel. Uh, Makuti, I'll just say I have faith in you. And don't forget, we're not paying him wages only when he plays like now. Let's see. He made an impact last season. And a guy like Ross Stern, is, who did make an impact as well, he's not playing. I gave him a few chances early season, but he just yeah, didn't get the job done. So his yeah future at the team is probably in jeopardy as other guys are stepping up now. And nice clean sheet here as well. Really, really good. But the performance... In the first half, set it up. But it was those guys, those attacking players with superb morale, definitely sent us on our way. David Pratt with a goal and assist. He's back on his, yeah, form of the first half of the first season. He is back on that, and our morale is boosted. But the player of the match, Dan Ball. I love him. He's amazing. And we move up to 14th. This is, this is exactly what I want to see. Oh, this is much better, lads. Come on. Much more of this. And look, they're third. They're still third after that loss as well. Uh, we can dominate against that kind of team. So we could probably beat anyone in this league. I'm a bit more happy now. And unfortunately, JPS is another striker injury. Pulled hamstring out of four, three to four weeks. Ugh, not ideal. Uh, Nick McCoody's definitely... Look at this. We've got three injuries right now to strikers. Matt Godden, when's he's coming back? Yeah, 12 days and three weeks. Not too far away. And Johan to horse, three weeks. So we've still got Pratt, who's scoring. I guess Noah Keats can come in, Demkiv, and yeah, Makudi can still play. So it's important to give him games. But yeah, he's not, he's not this level really. And also something I need to change up. I'll put career stats here, and then I'm going to put the. Is it coach report? No, nah, not coach report. It's suitability. Suitability. So you can see his level. See, Frankie Artis, definitely, he's our best, 
well, one of our better midfielders. I was going to show you on Nick McCoody. So he's not, he's only two star current ability. But either way, he's a guy that can score because he's strong. He's got a little bit of quickness for this level. Not overly quick, of course. Good dribbling, good finishing, composed, uh, good heading. So he's good in the air. Not paying him anything. But he only scored, yeah, 3 in 12 in non-competitive. But last season, he scored, what, 6 in 14. And he ate off the bench. So, yeah, he is a decent player around that conference level. But here we are now for the FA Cup first round. This is the stage we also got to last year, but I think we had to play a couple extra rounds, like qualifying rounds, because uh, being in a league below than we are now. So we got to the first round a bit earlier. And I know I don't want to get it too ahead of myself, but I just want to check out what's the prize money. And of course, we're gonna, we should get a good amount of yeah, gate receipts and all of it. We'll get 18K. I'd love to advance here. It would just be absolutely insane. Pratt on good form, say 25 pounds on the ticket, but where's, like, where does it say the attendance? I guess we'll see after the game. I won't worry about that kind of stuff right now. But yeah, I've made a few changes. I've brought Sakani Simpson into right back for Sheckleford. Uh, bought Charlie Ward with superb morale for Galena. Galena, good bench player there, can play all defense positions and, like, defensive midfield and center mid can come on. I've brought Anton Walks instead of, what's his name, Dan. Uh, Dan Hart can come on the bench. But yeah, because I feel Anton Walks is a bit of a better player. Physically good as well. So playing into a better team, that could be important. Quick and a bit of strength, aggression as well can be that kind of player. And halfback is one of his better roles as well. Look at that. It's at the top. So that's all I have to say about that. And like I said, physically good. And uh, brought Adnan Maric in. Because I feel as though, what's it, I've, I've dropped him out of the whole team, actually, Frankie Artis. He's not really a, a deep-line playmaker on defend, but Maric can do that because he can be creative and he can defend also. So he's a perfect player. Like, he can actually play centre-back. <laughs> he's competent there. But, yeah, that's the team to go in with. Unfortunately, we have injuries. Uh, JPS now. A three-striker injury is going to be tough, so it might be hard to score goals. But we've got a guy, Ben Adelsbury. I think he scored the most goals for us. He's got, he's got eight goals this season. Is that the most? Oh, no, oh, nine. Yeah, nine goals as a whole. That's the most. The most goals from a striker. Well, no, I mean, who's available? Yeah, of course, to horse has 10 goals. But yeah, Addersbury, next highest amount of goals. So come on. But Pratt's on form as well. Both are strikers starting on Suburb Morale. Come on. Imagine if we can get a victory here in front of the home support. Still, we'll try to control the game because... With the game we play like shorter passing, it doesn't really suit playing on counter. So it just wouldn't make sense. Does it say the so look capacity is like eight thousand, almost nine thousand. Does it say I don't think it says anywhere here that I can see. We'll see after the game anyway, the attendance. Because yeah, you wouldn't know the attendance before the game. Cause yeah, people can come during the game. Oh, they got Poser, isn't that guy from Man City? Yeah, look, they get play on loan for Man City, because they are a few leagues above from we are so he's a guy he's got pace all of that got to be careful of him but we'll go to the team talk trust in Leah Lamb here maybe okay motivating for one defender so maybe we'll do midfielders I say assertive there's no pressure okay yes good reaction strikers assertive no pressure I might as well say it for the rest of defenders no pressure yep okay that's probably the best reactions I can get made for does the keeper I guess, yeah, I can't change it for him. I guess he accounts for that. But we'll start the match. See, that's a decent, that's a decent team talk. I just, like, I imagine we could get the result here. Like, I imagine it in my head that it will happen. But <laughs> you're getting, like, I'm just getting a bit ahead of myself there because a lot is going to have to go right for us and a lot is going to have to go wrong for them. <laughs> Maybe it'd be like a draw or go through penalties. But here, they have a corner. Come on. If that's one way I won't want to concede is from a set piece. Phyllis Kirk. Pozo. No. He's too good. A Man City youngster. Against a conference side is always... <laughs> yeah, always going to take a... Or stand a chance of scoring. But goalkeeper, you have to do better there. He was like out of position. Like... No, uh, he didn't look like saving that. Not very good effort. Come on, let's quickly get it back right away. Marich. 
Mm. They're winning those 50-50 balls. Maybe my expectations are too high against this kind of team. Uh, that's, yeah, looking to get promoted into the championship. Fafana. Pozo. He's too, he's too good for this level. You see that. They just blast the shot and the goalkeeper stands no chance. He's too good. And you'll see the shot again. So he sets it up to him there. He just smashed it. That's where you see the attribute difference. So might as well just go on attack here. Go all out. Because we were never expected to win this game. But maybe here. Something. Keats. Keats gets it back. Yes, come on. Come on. We have a chance. He scored. Yeah, what a time to score your first goal of the season. Like, I at least want us to be competitive. So I can at least praise my players. To keep that morale up. If we can't win this. That's the next best hope. If we can compete with this kind of team. Oh, we could! Oh, Walks had a great chance. Oh, go, what's... Is it half time? It is. Whoa, but that was a great chance, though. What are we going to say here? I'm going to say aggressively, show me something else. Pump them up. We're in striking distance, though. It's not like we're gone from the match. We're still a goal. Only a goal away. So there's a chance. If we can create them. Of course, we'll be disappointed to get knocked out, but it looks like we're not getting dominated. That's a good thing. Walks is going to have to come off. We'll bring on the fresh legs of Dan Hart. Only really other guy who can come in that... Oh, actually, no. Undo last. A bit more experience of Gallinar, I think. Yeah, that will probably be better. Um, Lee Palmer with skill, because he's got potential to be like a League One player. We've got to bring someone around that kind of level and drop out some poor performances. Marich as well. Ross Stern, he's got dribbling ability. That's about it. Could he do something? I don't know. We have to take off David Pratt, though. Yeah, Ross Stern. Because he's got that dribbling ability. We'll put him deep playing forward. It's a role he can play. And we'll go a bit more... Oh, but shorter passing is what... Like, nah, I feel... If we can keep possession, we'll keep retain. But no. We'll just put the fullbacks on attack just to get forward a bit more, yeah? And even the deep line playmaking go on support. There we go. I reckon... Uh, I think that's the best. <laughs> best way to go about it. Galna will come on as captain. Lee Palmer, no pressure. He looks relaxed. That's nice. Ross Stern, you've done special stuff in the past for us. I know it's not your level. But maybe. He's got that 14 dribbling. Oh, no, they've got a set piece. Ah, foul. That's For me, that's really deflating. Because <sighs> we had a chance, and it'll probably be gone here. With Pozo step up to score his hat-trick. Oh, he missed! He missed! There's hope! Oh, there's hope here. Come on. Come on. What can we do? We go overload. Maybe we can... I don't know. Maybe we can go route one? We'll try that. Maybe put a higher tempo here. Push higher up. Um, shoot on sight. So we just take the chances. Let's go with that. Come on. Show something. Come on. 15 minutes. There has to be some action in the last 15 minutes. Surely. Especially on overload. Come on. Football manager, what are you doing? How can there be 15 minutes without a highlight? Uh, okay, there it is. They score. Okay, there was a highlight. But it was for them. But, I mean, like, for us, come on, surely. They've got to show, like, how we're going, like, overload. Okay, I shouldn't get too excited or mad because, yeah, we were never expected to win this. I can't be expecting to beat a team that's near, very, very close to the top of League One. And we're near the bottom of the conference. I just got to be happy. We we held our own against them. We held our own. I got to be happy with that. So I'm going to say assertively, despite the result, I'm pleased with the performance. Nah, I thought they were got a good reaction because, yeah, some players played well. So maybe I'll, I'll try and turn it around. I say midfield, I'm very happy with your playmaking. Nah, it's not, nah, don't worry. 
we're just going to have to move on from this. But I felt we yeah, we did help, we did hold our own. But they were just too good at the end of the day. Like Pozo, his finishing ability, yeah, just all those attributes are too good against us. But at least now, can we check the attendance? Where are we? If we go to the game, should say the attendance. Ah, uh, yeah, 3,600. That's so much more. And yeah, ooh, we were like 60, about 60k in the red, yeah. Now it's gone to 22, so that's good. Um, we're on pretty good form. I'd love to go on a run in the FA Trophy, whenever that is. Okay, yeah, not too far away. I want to try and win that, of course. Uh, the Vanarama Conference is the highest level. Uh, we got to the first round, but the first round is when you face someone in the football leagues, and it's really hard to beat those kind of teams with that kind of attribute difference. But anyway... I'm still, yeah, impressed with how we played. We definitely look likely. Uh, and, yeah, I didn't want to get too mad because yeah, it's a bit hard uh, to beat that kind of team. But, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you guys next time.